Hello students and welcome to the e-learning program initiated by Shri Gyan Manjri Vidyapeet for the students of standard 10 in which we are learning the subject of social science. Students, this is the second chapter for chapter number 19 which is the first lecture of uh, which is the first chapter in the civics part of this 10 standard social science book and name of the chapter is human development as this is the second chapter students let us take a quick recap of what we have learned in the previous lecture for this particular chapter students we first learned the meaning of human development human and development two different ones but when combined together it has a totally different meaning the process of enlarging people's freedom this is the definition of human development the process of enlarging people's freedom and opportunities and improving their well-being that is called human development has lots of concept included in it first thing is it's the process so it has to be continuous it cannot be okay we reach target oh, let's stop it no it has to be pro continuous and the process when it goes forward it keeps on eva evaluating itself and evolving so that process has to be uh, constant and it has to be consistent so the process of enlarging people's freedoms we are not talking about the human rights we are not talking about the basic rights the basic duties of either the people or the government or the country towards the people and the people towards the country we are not talking about all those things we are here talking about enlarging the scope where people's freedom can be enjoyed by them yes we are giving them lots of freedom each and every tri country tries to give lots of freedoms to its citizens now those has to be enlarged that means more number of freedoms have to be given and people's wishes what they wish from the government what they wish themselves that they should have those types of freedoms should be enlarged next opportunities to keep on developing when does development happen development happens when freedom is given if we have restriction we cannot have development so those restrictions have to be removed so that development process can go ahead and that also for the well-being of the citizens then that is called human development as per UNDP UNDP stands for United Development United Nations Development Program and according to UNDP human development is a process of again same things extending human aspiration aspirations your dreams wishes what you want to do that is aspiration and essential subsistence services to give to each and everyone irrespective about their economic status educational status their uh, mother tongue their gender in which state they live or belonging to an any caste creed then religion etc irrespective of that each and every person should be getting their basic facilities these basic facilities in the earlier days they were three only that is food clothing and shelter nowadays five things are included in it food clothing shelter plus health and education apart from that there are some basic needs also so each and every citizen if they get it in proper quantity then human development is there over and above giving an idea about education and health and other things human development also has certain lots of other things to discuss about in term human development is often used by agencies media etc lots and lots but then hardly we concentrate on what is human development how to achieve it so human development that has to be human centered that means man centered at the center should be human beings objective of the human development very important to create some condition for everybody's life to create some condition where everybody's life becomes more happier more smoother more easier 
and they can enjoy their life so that people can lead a significant quite an important and creative life according to their talent skill knowledge what is priorly required there are four pillars pillars of human development on which human development is based they are based on equality stability uh, production and empowerment you go to because we are here not talking about india only we are talking about the all the countries in the world whether they are developed countries or whether they are developing countries because if we take the first equality then here we have a different view of equality here we have social differences here we have religious differences here we have casteism communalism so this set of differences are over here where everybody many times are not considered equal and that is why such a lot of harassment is faced by the citizens because equality is not there so if we are talking in terms of india equality but if you go to other countries say you go to western countries any of the developed countries uk usa there another type of inequality is present over there perhaps it is uh, black and um, white people the skin uh, color of the skin that differs then discrimination is present over there some other ways uh, original americans and people who have come from outside yes so differences are always there so equality is the first pillar of human development we can humans can develop only when all of us are considered at one level then only equality can exist and then only human development can happen because if we have those discrimination a particular group will keep on developing whereas another particular group will stay behind or become backward so equality then stability stability in terms of say uh, politics that the government is quite stable once when it is elected at least 5 years 6 years it continues because different countries they have different terms for the president or head of the state here we have a standard 5 year in many places different term of uh, tenure is there right so stability political stability hoga to hi development hoga na otherwise a new government will come a new new person will come to the power and he will change everything the development process will stop we have to again start it at by the time it's time for another change right so that way stability political stability is also required and stability of the human development is also required production there are lots of en entrepreneurs who want to establish factories or who want to establish business on a large scale small scale whatever and they want to do production they want to sell their products inside the country outside the country but then inside the country if they want to sell they should have people buying their products that means people should have money in their hand now it's a poor country people do not have money to buy products then that factory is going to stop manufacturing and the person will be out of business because his products are not selling so production has to be continuous now we know for production lots of aspects are needed the people should be educated so that they have a proper job they earn money and that spending can be done because they have money in their hands then they will go to the market buy things if they buy things only then the products will be bought by them and the products will be sold by the company and this company will get profit and they will make another one so that process of production has to continue it has to be stable and it has to keep on enlarging empowerment empowerment means uh, power in the hands of right so we have to give power every the head of the state cannot keep all the powers with him he has to delegate his powers to other people same way power should be given in the hands of the people so that they can make independent economic decisions they can make independent social de uh, decisions yes so economic and social decisions can be made by them political decisions can be made them made by them so in this way empowerment is very very necessary so these are the four pillars of human development then human development is also getting an opportunity to lead a successful and creative life that we have done but according to one's own taste i should be able to lead my life according to my taste same way as 
another one also has a right to lead his or her life according to his or her own taste interest the skill which he or she has developed intelligence level which he or she has and the capabilities which a person can show so each and every person each and every citizen of the country should have all these basic things so that he can lead a creative life old concept of uh, human development that we have already learned in the previous lecture old concept means the country who has the highest per capita income that is at the top and the per uh, capita uh, the country which has per capita income lowest according to the world standards that country is the poorest now main point over here is peop uh, the countries also had the notion that hamari per capita income high because our gross national income is high so our gross na national income gni is higher divided by the population so we have per capita income more if we have more per capita income that means our human development is more that was the old concept so the four countries earlier used to focus on keep on increasing the per capita income every year so that we always remain at the top and that also shows hamare paas zyada paisa hai isliye hamara human development zyada hai that was the old concept so all the nations of the world they concentrated on increasing that gni that is gnp that is gross national product so that valuation increases divided by population we have per capita and they always stand on the top because their per capita income is higher however even we have seen uh, earlier researchers they have seen that countries who have a very high per capita income but the people are not having basic rights the people are not having freedom the people are not getting enough education or enough medical facilities enough number of school colleges hospitals they do not enjoy their basic rights there are lots of restriction over there then human development is quite low whereas per capita income is high so it should not be there so then the nations understood that up till now we were following a wrong method for uh, measuring human development so the nation realized that it was incorrect to believe that higher your per capita income or economic growth higher is your human development so they came to a new conclusion that human development is not only related to income but also how to use income that means government is using its income it has lots of income each and every citizen is earning enough the government is also earning a lot of money through taxes and all that so we have lots of money but then how do you use your money if the hospitals are still total number of hospitals in the country they are still less according to the population if total number of doctors are still less according to the standard then each and every per thousand per 10000 per 1 lakh we have just one or two doctors then that is not human development enough number of school uh, children are not coming to school yes maximum number of students are not even able to uh, complete the graduation then human development is not there so apart from that how do you use your income how the people are using their income how the government is using their income that is also necessary that means income should be used for improvement of life human development means now the modified or the new meaning for human development ability of human beings to lead successful and creative life as per their interest benefits ab abilities and wisdom creation of human capabilities more scope should be there where people have a choice to show their capabilities securing equality for all and getting an opportunity to select among the various fields this is the new meaning of human development then man living with healthy fit fine for a long life that is one of the uh, meaning of human development acquiring knowledge through information and education that is also new meaning of human development getting opportunity equal benefit for monetary gain 
then natural resources should be available to all without any compromising and it should be used to improve living standards achieving qualitative lifestyle removal of squalor that is dirtiness improvement of health related conditions obtaining most important obtaining personal security and social security uh, utilizing human rights obtaining individual and social security these are all included in the new meaning for human development everyone should be able to enjoy equal human rights human development is related with creation and expansion that we already learned now we come to developing countries do not they are not able to achieve economic and social development why why are they still developing why have they not developed since so many years but there is a reason behind it because human life in order to sustain and to develop it requires three four basic things first it requires peace of mind so it includes peace needs political stability economic social political cultural fields everywhere it needs development and peaceful that also so now let's come to today's lecture due to indifference or disgust towards improvement why why developing countries say many of the african nations many of the south american nations in on the continent of south america many of those latin american con, uh, countries many of the asian countries below china including in india pakistan afghanistan lots of other countries they are in the uh, range of developing countries they have not developed fully why there are certain inherent conditions in those countries yes due to indifference or disgust towards improvement indifference means mujhe koi fark nahi padta development ho chahe na ho mujhe koi fark nahi padta so a person or citizens of those of those countries developing countries they show no difference they are indifferent whether a change is happening development is happening or not disgust they do not like improvement they want to stick to their old traditional ways and they do not want to adopt new changes low aspirations low dreams yes mujhe itna mila main khush hu mujhe mujhe isse zyada nahi chahiye so low aspirations low dreams low wishes of the people illiteracy is the most effective negative thing happening in this developing countries because of illiteracy lots of other negative points arise for example the country the people will be superstitious because illiteracy is there people are not literate phir kali billi rasta kaatti hai to ghar wapas jaate hain right because uh, superstition lots of other superstitions are there right basically because knowledge is not there knowledge comes through reading reading is literacy right so the ability to read and write is not there or up to a certain level restricted then people will be superstitious they will be suspicious entrepreneurship lack of entrepreneurship that means people are not ready to open up new business basically the poor the country is still developing so the people have less money in their hand so they lack the courage to set up new industry because for that they have to put in all their money and what happens if the business is loss making then whatever they have that will also go away so people are not ready to invest in a new business or in a new adventure yes so lack of entrepreneurship or entrepreneurship antiquatedness orthodox tradition long lasting old type of customs traditions are still followed orthodox thinking is their old way of thinking is that they do not accept or try to understand the new changes or reforms in the life in the society in the economic conditions they don't want to understand all this they just want to stick to their old orthodox thinking so they cannot change themselves and that is why the society does not change improper use of natural resources jiske haath mein lag gaya 
वो यूज कर रहा है बाकी किसी को पता ही नहीं है कि हमारे जमीन के नीचे क्या है राइट सो दैट वे नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज दे आर वेस्टेड वेदर इट इज मिनरल्स वेदर इट्स वाटर एनीथिंग सो नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज इम प्रॉपर यूज ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज एंड साइंटिफिक यूज होना चाहिए दैट वी हैव लर्न in the earlier chapters also we should be having a scientific way of using the natural resources so that uh, we can use the maximum we can conserve also so that future generation so that type of thinking is not present in these countries or at a low level developing countries are not able to achieve economic and social development now we come to the most important point on which whole of this chapter is based that is hdi that is human development index now up till now you are very clear with human development now the word to understand is index right first thing we have to understand index and then we will learn the other things so let us first just read it and then we will understand what is index the human development index that is hdi it is a composite composite matlab sab kuch mila ke hota hai that is composite a statistic statistic means playing with numbers and coming to a conclusion that's called statistic so it's a composite composite matlab ek sath ikatha rakhne se then which whatever numbers we are we arrange them so that we can come to a successful conclusion of three economic indicators this word is very very important three economic indicators the hdi formed on the basis of this indicators that means we put all of those indicators we give number to them and then we come to a conclusion so the hdi formed on the basis of these indicators is used to rank countries now all the countries are ranked on the same method so that there is no difference in between ranking of any country so all the countries are looked by the help of the same indicator we'll learn uh, so we'll understand what are indicators what are in, what is an index how is hdi form that we'll learn but we are just simply reading this these indicators is used to rank countries into four tiers that also we we'll, uh, tier means level so first a composite collecting information about everything from one country same way collecting the same type of information from all the countries that we have a composite then we do some statistical analysis and then we take three economic indicators to indicate indicators indicate right so we take these three indicators and we use it upon that the hdi that is formed then we come to human development index hdi that is formed on the basis of these indicators is used to rank the country then all the countries from according to their ranking we set them from 100 i uh, said 200 at the bottom and the number one country at the top the number one country at the top has the highest human development and the country at the bottom has the lowest human development right yahan pe koi competition nahi ho raha that we have to be very very clear we are not at competition yes kyunki human development chutkiyon mein nahi hota it takes years and years to develop your own population right we have been striving for 65 years 70 years to develop a country and we know where we have reached today so chutkiyon mein nahi hota so this is just an indicator that you are lacking over here another country is forward in this particular respect so that you come to know yes i stand over here what should i do so that i improve my human development index how do i develop in this sector so my number goes up over here i come ahead in the rank that is what we all people do yes you have not come to class 10 without doing this we learn right so four tiers four levels all the countries and their put up according to the ranking they are put in four tiers hdi is used next humko hdi mil gaya now that hdi data from that hdi is used to make a report 
and then that report can be seen by each and every country it is officially sent because it is sent from UN right and each and every country knows where it is lacking or where it is ahead of so HDI HDI is used to make HDR HDR means human development report and it is made every year HDI is used to prepare a report called human development report that is HDR now let us understand index now let us first understand index we learned two three terms over here first term is composite another term is indicator and then index right so first thing is composite now you have reached over here 10th standard every year after passing out you used to get a progress report yes you get a progress report where marks for the whole year is shown subject wise yes mark sheet milne ke baad you come to the next class that is the educational system right now just let us see how it is made right suppose ek for xyz we have math science social then we have languages english gujarati sanskrit 1 2 3 4 5 6 suppose we just take for example math science english social gujarati sanskrit right these are the six subjects up 100 marks ki test dete ho at the end of the year so this we are just taking as an example to understand hdi index composite indicators right so we have 18 maths 18 science 17 social 17 english gujarati you are well versed so you have 90 over here sanskrit you have 90 making a total 0 and 7 23 30 39 so this is your mark sheet so 1 2 3 4 5 6 six subjects are there so 600 600 mein se kitna mila 480 so this is your index understand these are the indicators 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the indicators on which exams were taken and out of 100 you scored this much this is say for 8 standard we cannot change this yes you appeared in the exam you have written the exam and the mark sheet you have got based on this then you are ranked the highest one is say 520 after that 514 so this is number 1 this is number 2 so in the class ranking you come at 1 2 3 somewhere over here you come at 34 because you got 480 this is the ranking and this is the composite this is the composite because we can do some calculations over here composite we have indicators on which we have marked he is good in maths he has done this he is good in science he has done this he is very good in Guj uh, gujarati he has done this so this is the composite out of which we get an index from the index we rank all of the students because calculation is the same out of 600 student wise class wise who secured first number second so your ranking is 34 according to 480 out of 
this is the index this is an index because this is eight standard now when you come to nine standard suppose the subjects are the same but you made improvement you made improvement and here instead of 80 80 you scored 90 90 10 marks here 10 marks here 20 will that not make change in the index that is going to be so now you are going to get 500 out of 600 and your ranking will change from 32 now you are at 28 so any change in the composite any change in the composite is going to make a change in the index will make a change in the ranking now we come to tiers whole of the class is divided into four tiers one two three and four first tier may come one to ten then ten to twenty twenty two uh, sorry eleven to twenty 21 to 30, 31 to 40. Earlier you stood over here. Your ranking was in this last one. Now you have scored 28 in 9 standard. That is next year. So now your ranking comes over here. Because you developed in one of the indicator because you developed in one of the indicator automatically that is going to reflect in the index your index will move higher your index will move higher you will somewhere be ranked higher in the class and maybe the four tiers that we have made four layers that we have made you will you might come up in that layer or you might still Agar man lo, 34 tha, aapka ranking 31 aya, then you are in the same tier, but then you have moved ahead. I think the students will be able to understand from this particular example, because the same example is going to be used for understanding HDI. What is HDI? It's very easy, because until you don't understand what is index, HDI cannot be understood. Then ranking cannot be understood. So let us come back again to HDI. The concept of human development, the concept of human development, the new one, old concept we already know, that it was based only on one thing, that is PCI. Aapka PCI jitna high, aapka national gross Product G N P Jitna Upar Apka PCI Utna Ucha or Apka ranking Utna high yoga. Jitna apka ranking high to Samaj Miata tha development be utna high. So but then it was proved that PCI or GNP being higher does not show that you are having the same amount of human development. Right? So according to the new concept. Now who developed that new concept? That new concept was developed by a Nobel Prize winner. And he was an economist of Indian origin, who we should be proud upon, right? Amartya Sen, that HDI concept was propounded or it was spread by, initially given by a, a Nobel Prize winner and an economist of Indian origin, Amartya Sen, and based on that, the new reports started being made and now the countries are focusing upon how to improve their HDI. This team under United Nations Development Program, that is UNDP, published the first human development report in HDR in 1990. That means HDI pele bana hoga, HDR So it must be some one year, two year back. This report was prepared on the basis of Human Development Index, that is HDI. They formed the first Amartya and his team under the guidance of the United Nations Development Program. They propounded this theory and the UN allowed them to do that and gave a very good result. It gave its first report, HDR, in 1990, based on HDI report of the previous year. 
Since then, that means since 1990, UNDP, very, very important, you can please under, uh, underline this, UNDP publishes Human Development Report each and every year. If the report is published this year, that means data should be of the previous year. Till 2009, again, yahan pe bhi change hai. Jo Amrita Sen and his team and UNDP from 1990, they, because the first one was published in 1990, till 2009, that is for 20 years, this system of HDI and HDR continued. But then each and everything evolves. We see there are some defaults in it, so we modified it. So, in till 2009, the Human Development Index was formed on the basis of three economic indicators only, which are they? Life expectancy, that is dependent on health. Second is knowledge, and the third is living standard, that is per capita income. So, these are the three indicators on which HDI was based from 1990 to 2009, that is for continuous 20 years, this format was used, in which three indicators were used, that is life expectancy. What is life expectancy? Um, in each and every country, life expectancy changes. For example, uh, what is life expectancy? How long is the human life in a particular country, how is that much expected? Ki on an average, a person lives how much? It is different for male, it is different for female in each and every country, even on world level, if you go to any other country, right? Uh, human being, on an average, kitne saal zinda rehta hai? To har ek country ka alag alag year aayega, kisi ka 70 aayega, kisi ka 80 aayega, kisi ka 40 aata hai, right? Because the situations and conditions are so bad, Hunger hai, poverty hai, right, no job hai, right, koi agriculture ka naam onishan nahi hai, ya paani ki scarcity hai. There are lots and lots of, even natural, yes, natural calamities bhi itni jhada hoti hai, ki aap, jo hai, country poor rehta hai many times, because of say illiteracy hai, ye wo, to backward rehta hai. So, in those cases, life expectancy will be quite low. People on an average might be living for 40 years, 50 years, something like that. But in Jin countries, the whole environment is very good for citizens, ke liye, hospitals, ke liye, school, college, ye, wo, so, well, quite well educated, aware about the environment. Yes, uh, timely medical treatment is given to them, so medical attention is there. The government is also helping for the welfare of the people, trying to give all the utilities, facilities, etc. So in that case, life expectancy bad jati hai. But this uh, this country mein ambulance kam hai, to logo ko emergency mein hospital pahunchane ka koi koi method nahi hai, right? To person will die in his village even before he gets medical treatment because. Ambulance nahi hai, yeah, proper facilities nahi hai, roads nahi hai. Say in another country, jaisi call lagta hai, hospital ko address bhi mil jata hai, agar caller kuch bol bhi nahi paata hai, toh bhi ambulance aake khadi ho jati hai, patient ko le jati hai, immediate medical attention hai, toh uski jaan bach jati hai. Aise kitne logo ki jaan bachi, that means they are expected to live more. So life expectancy a very very important thing for human development. Zinda rahega to development hoga. So jitna jada zinda so that much. Health. Next is knowledge. Jaha bhi discuss kiya schools, colleges hona chahiye, proper development hona chahiye, labs honi chahiye. Phir jitne education leke bahar nikle. So they should be also having proper jobs so where they can use their talent, skill, knowledge, information over there. So all those facilities, knowledge. Next is living standard. Paisa jada hoga to, of course, living standard achha hoga. Paisa kam hoga to, living standard low hoga, right? Spending power kam hoga. So in this way, all these different indicators were used from 1990 to 2009. Then we had some change. 
So let's look at what are these changes. The HDR was then prepared based on these economic indicators. After 2010, 2009 tak to ye chala, out to 2000, a new technique was used. We did not modify that much, but we modified according to the requirement, present requirement we need to, because we keep on evolving. We keep on evolving, right? So we come to understand that changes you will get better result. So in 2010, a new technique was used to develop HDI and then develop prepare HDR. Under this technique, three indicators were the same, but norms became different. Yes, life expectancy index. Instead of life expectancy, abuse ek index ban gaya. Now we know index mein kya hota hai? That means life expectancy ke niche bhi kuch hoga. Tabhi index banega. Otherwise simply life expectancy was used. Yes. Now life expectancy index. L-E-I. Short form. Right. That is average age. Then education. Pehle sirf education ka. Now education may be index ho gaya. That means there has to be three, four things over here also, so that this can become, education can become an index. Three, four things can be in the same way. Income ka index bana diya. There should be something below it also, so that we can look into more better ways and more clear ways. We can look into the index deeply because now we just have, don't have life expectancy. We have life expectancy index where more than one is counted yes because we have other numbers other indicators sub indicators below that also so that we can look into life expectancy in a better way and then we can judge the countries in a better way same way education also index life expectancy index so all of these topics are the indicators life expectancy education and income now each one of them became an index and on the whole this became HDI. Yes, so under HDI we still have three other index and below the index will have other indicators also. So now let us look at that. How is human development index calculated? Yes, the human development index is composite statistic of three economic indicators because money is involved everywhere in development. If there is money, nahi hai to development of course nahi ho sakta, right? So at present, the three indicators to calculate HDI first, life expectancy that is LEI, average age, education index, EI, and income index, II, lifestyle, right? So we have to un uh, understand three things there are three indicators one is l e i second one is e i and the third one is i i life expectancy index education index and income index so this becomes our new hdi the way to count the new HDI is yes, to m the m new method, new technique to measure HDI of each and every country. Now we have these three indexes to con consider the larger index that is HDI. Now we will learn it one by one. So the first one is life expectancy index that is average age. Life expectancy refers to determining health and longevity. Not only longevity, how long a person lives, that is called longevity. It not only considers how long a person lives, but also considers health. How long does he stay healthy? The more healthy, he lives for more longer time. At the time of birth of an infant and predicting as for how many years will the infant so why that is measured in years. So it is not only about how long a person will be living right from the time of birth. 
right from the time of birth because everything is depending upon the calculation of numbers the way we interact with numbers so as soon as a child is born he is added to the population now the population is divided into range 0 se 1 per 1 se 5 that way in the years so a child is born in a in a country which which has high hdi as a child is born lots of vaccination is done proper treatment is given to the child mother so both of them not only survive they stay healthy live and lead a longer life the child completes from zero to one year and the child is alive after that also but in many countries it happens that child as soon as he is born as soon as a child is born the child dies because it did not get the mother did not get proper nutrition now that becomes the responsibility not only of the family it becomes the responsibility of the society it becomes the responsibility of the government the government failed the society failed the family failed and that is why the child as soon as is born is a stillborn child that means dead or the child was not able to live long teen mahina char mahina panch mahina it was alive and then it died because it did not get proper nutrition from its mother right because mother ke paas khane ke liye nahi hai they are quite poor they don't even have proper food right so the child sometimes it happens that due to non availability of medical treatment or medical attention along with the child the mother also dies so that is the meaning at the time of birth of an infant and predicting how many years he is going to live that is longevity and the infant will survive that is measured in years the lowest and the highest value for this index are 20 years and 83.6 years respectively so under under hdi we have three indicators one is life expectancy index another is education index and income index right so under this under this we still have lowest and the highest value for this index that is life expectancy the highest is 83.6 years and the lowest is so in life expectancy the lowest is considered as 20 years and the highest is considered as 83.6 years 83.6 years that means some country must have achieved this 83.6 and some of the one of the country must have reached over here that means life expectancy was so low that it might have gone down to 20 but below 20 hdi will not consider right so the lowest and highest values this can be lowest and according to the present state it can be 83.6 calculating on a number of years we see that highest achieved may be 83 and the lowest achieved may be 20 but below 20 not too good as per human development report 2005 like life expectancy of an indian is 68 years they fall somewhere in the middle 68 years quite a good one yes that means a normal adult in india a normal indian citizen expected to live at least 68 years next comes education index now education index measured the it's the measurement of adult literacy it measures the adult literacy not education in child 
it considers two things. First is mean average years of schooling, that is MYS and expected years of schooling. Two things are included in this. Education index, it has two other indicators to help find out the education index. First one is mean, average years of schooling. Next is expected years of schooling. Now that is MYS and EYS. Now let us learn what is MYS and what is EYS. Mean years of schooling, what is MYS? It is the years spent in the school by an adult till the age of 25. So, each and every child or each and every citizen till the age of 25, how many years he spends in school that is listed down. So, because now we have the data of each and every student that has registered in the school, whether that is a private school, whether that is a government school. So each and every state has a perfect data, how many students, how many children got admission. And then how many of them completed the schooling or remained in the school from 5-6 years till the age of 25 years. That is called minimum or the mean average years of schooling. The lowest number of years of education is considered to be zero. Right? Yes, while maximum number of years has been set to 13.3. 13.3 years is the maximum a child spends in a school. Right? Or a citizen spends in the school. That is the highest level. Right? So, the maximum number of years that he has, has been set to 13.3. Now we come to, according to HDR 2015, on an average, Indian went to school for 5.4 years. Right? That means, koi ya to gaya hi nahi ya to admission liya, first, second, third standard then dropped out or he went up to 8th standard and then dropped out. So we have to consider all that data and it comes to that on an average Indian went to school, point five, school for 5.4 years. Here also we see that the minimum is 0 whereas the highest is 13.3. So we are somewhere near the lower scale, right? 5.4. So we need to improve on this. Expected years of schooling, EYS. Now first we learned is MYS, now EYS. It represents the approximate year that years that a child of 5 year will spend in school. 5 year mein first standard mein aadata hai. Uske baad kitna, right? For this lowest value, again 0 and highest is 18, 5 plus 18, so it will become 23, right? So 18 years is considered maximum according to HDR 2015, that means human development 15, 2015 major report aya, value of EYS for India was 11.7, it's quite good, 11.7, but here we need to improve the total number of years spent in the school, we have to improve upon this because highest is 13.3, so automatically 6.7 gas pass may half aega, we are still below half, but here we are quite ahead, 9 is half, then we are above 50%. So, India ka EYS acha hai, but we need to improve on MYS. As soon as we improve, index may change jayega, hamara ranking upar chala jayega. Now, income index. This is also important. As per the new technique, gross domestic product very important earlier it was GNP gross national product 
now it is gross national product that is gdp per capita gdp per capita ek citizen kitna total production deta right so gdp per capita is replaced by gni that is gross national income uh, at earlier it was gross national product that is gdp and per capita nowadays gni gross national income of the country divided by that is gni per capita that is used as an indicator the gni per capita is dollar value of country's final income in a year divided by its population because all the countries they have their own currency so it will become very difficult for a world ranking so each and every is each and every country's uh, currency is converted into dollars so the gni per capita is converted into dollar value and then divided by the population so whatever number we come to that becomes the gd uh, the per capita income in dollars according to human development 2015 india's per capita gross national income was dollar 5497 while per capita gdp that is gross national product in dollars was 5238 dollars 5238 according to the present value if we consider that is more than 70 so 1 dollar is 70 so 549 that is the gross national income per capita the per capita income of any nation is calculated in us dollar currency and known as purchasing power parity or ppp purchasing power parity it is nothing but gdp jo hota hai gni divided by population of a country suppose we are considering india then gross national income whatever gross national income india has for this year it has to be divided by the population of this year then we come to a certain figure that figure is converted into dollars right so जितना लोगों के पास पैसा होगा उतने ही पैसे का कुछ खरीद सकते हैं दैट इज द मीनिंग आपके जेब में जितना पैसा होगा उतना ही आपका सो दैट मनी दैट पर कैपिटा या इनकम इज कंसिडर्ड एज पावर परचेजिंग पैरिटी और पी 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 सो स्टूडेंट्स वी कम टू अ स्टॉप फॉर टूडेज लेक्चर थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स